Hello guys, um, this is Jonathan Stemmon and today I have decided to do some scratch. Um, teach you guys um, if you're interested in scratch. Um, today I teach you guys how to make a simple game called a maze game. I have like five years of experience in programming with Python and um, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So I do have a lot of experience in um, programming. I even have my own website if you guys want to visit it. Um, this is my website, jonathanstemmental.atspace.cc and uh, it should be taken to this web page. So, um, yeah, so you guys can see, um, we can download some of our projects here. We can go to my, my website, some other websites I've made. You can go to my online, online games. And I was actually maintaining this website for a very, very long time. So it does look very nice. So I'm going to do some web development soon and more of it. I'm gonna go on to doing some more advanced stuff with programming. Um, so yeah, this is what I will do uh, one day um, is to teach you guys um, more with web development and Python and stuff like that because these are very simple to do. Okay, so anyway, guys, so today I'll be teaching you how to make a maze game in Scratch. This this tutorial tour is great for um, children who wants to learn how to start coding because obviously Scratch is just drag and drop. So I'm going to start off with basics first um, and talk to you guys how this whole thing works. So f starting from scratch is a great idea. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create a new stage. So basically this is scratch. Um, we need to make an account for this. Um, so yeah, I have to make an account. Um, I'm not going to show how to do this, but it should be pretty simple to do anyway. So we should be here. So to get here, um, leave page. Um, so we'll create a new account because obviously from here we'll have to press on sign up and it'll give instructions. Um, if we go to create, this is once I've created for account, then this should allow it to create this um this um game. So we can also do animations of it, you can make games like those we're gonna do today, and we can do loads of different stuff with Scratch. Scratch is truly amazing. Um so it's gonna create our project for us. It works on Linux. They also have their um, software available to download for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And you can also install it on Raspberry Pi, but that is Linux. <laughs> okay, guys, so what I take into that game. Okay, so name for project is Maze Game. So now we'll have the name Jibs Maze Game, Maze Game. And then now we can delete this sprite because I don't want a cat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make. A new backstop so this will be for main menu so um, yeah so we're gonna name this um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to backdrops and now we're gonna name this one main menu so this is what we're gonna use um, to load up the game menu and now will be three levels I don't know if I should do this as a series but today we are gonna be creating this okay so now what we will need to do is create a new sprite and this will be our button okay so what we're going to call this one as our play button so we're going to click on to this play button and this will allow you to play the game so now if we grab this and now if we just drag this to create the button okay so once I've created the button we will have to um, drag this down that way you can see it a lot more easier. See guys? Um, okay, we can shrink it or we can maximize it as you guys can see. What we're gonna do is keep it like that and now what we guys can also do is grab this. This is basically the text. So if we wanna drag in some text and just do that and now we can put down text such as play. Click this button to play this game. Uh, you could actually just call it play button. Or we can just call it play. We can call it if we want, such as play, we can call it donut or whatever. It's just a tutorial tool. Okay, so it is gonna be purple. To change it, just highlight for text and now we can change uh, um, the the colour of the text. So let's make it dark, shall we? Um, if we just make it black like this, and now we can also increase its size, so we can also change its font. Um, so if we do that and now if I drag this like that, now that should allow it to play for game. So just do that, and now we can also change its font as well. So just double click on it, highlight it, and now we can do handwritten, we can do serif, we can go to curly, we can also do pixel, and I can also do this 
symbols I think it's Chinese or Japanese I don't know what these symbols quite mean but let's click on pixel because I like pixel as you guys can see we have changed the um, for color for, for color for text we also have done for button we can also change the button color but I like purple so we're gonna keep it as purple we can also drag it from here so I would just put it over here and now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to no okay, yeah um, delete that don't want that there. Um, okay so we are back on our main menu and now what we need to do is create some text okay so now what we're gonna do is put down here main menu okay now we have made for main menu so what we're gonna do now is just we're gonna go over here and now we can all change its size so to change its size click over here this is uh, okay now just drag it that's like this and now we can change the size and now we can just make it like this so this is for main menu okay guys so we have done for main menu um, we have done the play button and now what we should also do is say instructions such as how to play and that should be it basically to exit the game we just need to press on this and stop the game and press on the screen flag so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and um, create a new button so just click on to paint and now we can copy and paste it so if we do that um, let me just click for select tool so click over here to select a select tool and now what we guys could do is do this and now we can just do that control C and now we guys can just sprite one now control D and that should create a new button now we should call that one how to play how to play okay so this is how to play okay so we have just created a new button Alright, that is cool. Um, so we're going to name that one How to Play This Game. How to Play, just keep it short. How to Play. Okay, so now we can move for text by clicking onto the select tool, and now we can do that. So, how to play. We can also make it a lot more smaller if we wanted to. So, this is how to play for game. We can also increase the box if we wanted to, but I like the way it is. So, guys, now we have done it. And now, what we want to do is that because when you press on for green button nothing happens to play for press when we press on for purple button and that is because I haven't programmed it to do anything so what we will have to do is to go to the play button we have to make a new backdrop and this backdrop will be our level 1 so what we're going to do is um, create a new we're going to have to go and create a new one so click on here to create a new backdrop and now we can also rename it. So I would rename it level one. And that should take us to level one. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna have to do now is that we're gonna have to just leave it blank. For now we can just leave it blank. We're not gonna add anything to it just yet. So let's go back to the play button. So this is our play button, okay? So what we wanna do is if we press on this play button, then it should take us to the other backdrop. So what right I'll select the play button and now what we should do is that we should go to switch black drop to level one so we can do that. And now if we go to motion and then we should go to offense and then when sprite when um, sprite clicked, so when we click onto the button, then it should take her to level one and then it should hide. Um, so if we go down here and now it should hide so this will hide for button okay so now what we're going to have to do for same for this one but except uh, that we're just going to hide it so when if we go to events when back and the backdrop switches to level 1 then we want to hide it so go to looks and now hide okay so now we have done this now press on the green button to, to um, hmm. Oh, we have to do something before that though um, when the green when um, basically um, if you go to events when green flag is pressed then we what we wanted to do is to switch backdrop to main menu so now if we just for example go to backdrops go to level one then what should happen is that I should do that and if I press on for play button then it switches us to level one backdrop so we have learned how to make the navigation bar basically um, what happened now is that for buttons are hidden and that is because we haven't told it because it's hidden because, but we have to change that because we haven't told it 
when we refresh it for it to show up again. So when the green flag is pressed, then we want it to show. So we want it to show. Now if we go all the way down, now go there and now show. So now the button should be shown when I press on the green flag. But let's do the same for this part. So we have to go all the way to the um, events. And then if we go to the when the sprite is clicked, then we want, no, not that one. <laughs> when um, green flag is pressed, then we want it to be shown. Okay? So we want it to show. We gotta do three levels, so this point will be like a series. Okay. So when the king flag is pressed, then it will be shown. So as you guys can see, now it's shown. If I press on the play button, then it does that. And then that's it. Uh, okay. So now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna be baking how to play. Well, we should do that one last though. But what we can do right now is create the base. For the um, and click on the play button, we need to create a maze. But before we do that, let's um, add some text, shall we? Okay, so now what we need to do is to go there to level one, and this will be very simple, but there'll be only like three levels to do. Okay, so this one will be level one, level one, and the purple is gray because what we want it to do is that when it touches black, then we want it to do a restart the game. Um, so basically that will be a ball and then if we touch a black then the game will go back to the main menu basically um, and then we'll have to start all over again but if we do win then it will be telling Google we'll shop a um, win menu it will shop a we'll win page so it will tell you that we'll have won the game but if we lost then it will change the back take it back to the main menu basically so that way we can read to do it or we could just do a, a lose um, what so this is level one, right? For far level one, we don't want it too much in the center though. We want it to be at the top because we'll be creating the maze. Okay, so now let's create the maze, shall we? We're gonna make it completely black, um, and this is gonna be our basic level. So that's just this. And now what we're gonna do is create this. Um, just do that, and then now we can do that. Um, this is just gonna be a simple maze, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to make it as good as I can. I'm not really an artistic guy, so I'm not so good at this sort of thing. Okay, so now if you guys just do that, um, this, okay, I think I'm going to stop there. It doesn't need to be perfect though, as long as you've got amazed and that's fine, it's just, it's just a tutorial. Okay guys, so now if we just do that, and now if we do that, Okay, so um, this is a, sh a very terrible uh, maze, but that is fine. Okay, so now if we just do that, now if we just create this to make it a lot more challenging, and now if we just do this, and then now if we just go back down again, and then now if we just do this, um, okay, so now if we just do that, okay, and then now if we do that, and now what we sh should do is that it should go all the way down, just make that one very thin. Uh, like that, like that, and then um, we can just make a new color. They're gonna make, they're gonna make that one red. Because why not? Red is a cool color. So if we now add red here, then this will be for end. Okay. So basically, that is a maze. Um, I'm gonna make it even more challenging doing that. Oops, we don't want that. We want it to be completely back, black. So let's go a grab color. Okay. <laughs> now if we just um make that one a block like this, and now that should be fine. Now that should be possible to do, should it? <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do now is create another color for our ball. So we're gonna create a blue. I'll just create more of a hmm quite a pinkish color purple is good I like purple now if we just drag this then this is our player but we need to make a new sprite for that though you can't just do that okay so now if we press on the green flag if we go to play then it should take you here um, this is quite small but that is fine um, you can increase the size of it if we wanted to by just doing that and then we can increase the size of it um, I will just make it more stretchy why not 
so yeah guys the, this is maze one um so basically what will happen is that we'll have to go through all that and then if we hit for black then it will show up we'll lose um thing but if we hit for red then it should say that we'll win but there will be different levels so this will be different colors and for different colors will take good to different levels so now if we go back to the um sprite now we're going to create a new sprite so go to paint and now for this one we are going to make this one a pinkish color because we like pink why not pink pink is cool um it doesn't really matter what the color of this sprite is though okay so now if we just do that as long as it's not black or for end of a level color then that should be fine um so i will just make that one even more smaller let's just make it a lot more smaller like this if this is possible i will just make it even more smaller though maybe like this okay so now we're gonna have to go through here and then go for this way and we'll have to go all the way down and then from there we'll have to go this way um so yeah that's basically what will happen if we now go to code and now we want it to do is that on the on the events when game flag is pressed then we want it to hide so go to looks and I want it to <coughs> okay so when it when we, we want this to hide basically so now what we're going to do is that now this will be hidden um, when we click on the green flag so when I click over here then it should be hidden but when I press on the green flag it doesn't hide so we want it to um, let's do show first um, let's do show okay so it's shown right now because what we want to do is that for when we go to the events then we want it to when when switches to um, level one then we want it to be shown but before we do shown I think that we will need to do um, where we want it to be um, just scroll all the way down <coughs> Oh no, it should be a motion. Um, go to here, and then now we want it to show. Um, let's show. Show. So at first we want it to hide. Let's see if a code works. <laughs> yeah, it does work, see? And now we want it to do is that um, we want it to go to events. Hmm. <coughs> okay, what we want to do for controls is that we want it to follow um, the mouse pointer to do that what we need to do is to create for controls okay so touching mouse pointer so we want it to follow it don't we so if we now create a new um, we want it to when it switched to the level one that we want it to no we want it to do green flag don't we so green flag so when green flag is pressed then we want it to um, follow our mouse pointer basically so let's go to the um, we will need to go to the okay so basically if we go to if if actually um, if we just do use the arrow keys because what I feel like is that uh, if we basically basically press on the play button then it will go right over here because it'll be following our mouse pointer if we do that what I think what we should do instead if you use your mouse controls because that is the easiest way to do it okay so when flag is pressed then we want it to um, if we just go to the motion then we want it to move 10 steps so this will move it 10 steps so um, basically as you guys can see it did move it would move if we um, so when you click on the now when we click well, yeah, 
so when um, a space bar is clicked, if we do um, if a right arrow is clicked, do we want it to move ten steps? So now if we just press an arrow again, arrow, then yeah, like that. So now when we press on for right arrow, then it should move. Okay. So now let's do the same code, but. Okay, sorry guys, I thought I did something. Uh, okay, so basically, um, now we have done that, um, now let's go back to the button. And so you can just duplicate this, and now if we go to the left arrow, then we want it to go to negative 10. So negative 10. And now what that should happen is that now, if we press it on the um, left arrow, then it should do that. When they touch a black, we don't do anything, but that is fine. We're going to fix that soon. So, as you guys can see, um, let's see what happens. We are able to move our character now. Okay, so once you have done that with our arrow keys, now we can now make it so that way we can go up. Because so I press on for up hour and for down hour, then it does nothing, and that's because I haven't programmed it to do anything. So, what we need to do is that when we press on for up hour, then if you go to motion, now if we go to the, <laughs> change y by 10, then maybe that will take us up, let me try this, yeah it takes us all the way up, so now we can go up, but we cannot go down yet, so let's duplicate this, duplicate, no, 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 damn it, okay, duplicate, and now if we just do down arrow, then what should happen is that now if we do negative 10 now for um, the character will go down so if we just do that yeah as you guys can see we have done this so yeah this is basically how to do it <coughs> so as you guys can see um, this is completely possible to do if we just go halfway down then we should be able to pass this level but I did touch that part, but that's fine. Now if we can go ahead, and that should take us to level two. But what I really want to do right now is to make the player so that way, if he touches the black, that way he will, that way it will show up a screen that says "We we'll lose screen." So to do that, go to the stage area, and now we're going to have to do a new backdrop. Now click over here, and now go to paint, and now we can just do a big, but very big one will lost sad face and now what that should do is that it will um, basically we'll do that okay so now if we do that we'll lose sad face it is truly sad that we're lost isn't it so yeah this is basically it so now if you guys go back to the player because obviously it will be shown when it will come to far, we'll lose face. Now if we just go right over here, and now what we can do is to change this to, so that way if it switches to um, we'll lose um, background, then we want it to um, to just not show anymore. So if we go to backdrop one, we have to change this soon. Let's change this to player. So we can change this one to player. Um, we can add different players to this game if we wanted to, but we're not going to do this because it's quite a little bit advanced. We just need to do some networking, so we're not going to do this in this episode. But we may just do, do this in a in a future episode. It's where we can have two players in the game. Okay, so we want it to be hide. Okay, so we want it to hide. But what we want to do now is that when for player, hold on. So motion. Actually, if we go to events, um, in fact. Okay, let's do a green flag and then we can do if touches if if um, touching color if it's touching black then we want it to do is switch to a different backdrop. So let's go to events. Um, let's go to the events and where we should actually go to back to looks go back to looks and now switch um, costume to costume one switch backdrop to backdrop one so now if we do that let's change for part of the code 
So let's go back to backdrop and I'll change this to sad face because why not? I like sad face. And now if we do that, now if I press on play, now if you touch the black, then why is it not doing anything? Because we did um, do this, didn't we? So when it, oh wait, wait, I think I know why. Um, if we do, if we, um, hold on. If we make the player um, not overlay, um, actually, this is a backdrop, isn't it? So it would be a lot more harder. We would need to do. I see. Yeah. Can we just um, basically copy and paste it? I think that's the best way you can do with this. Control C, and now if we go for a way back to create a new paint, I haven't used Scratch in a long time, but I know it very well. Okay. So now if we just delete this, and now if we go all the way back to the backdrop, now we can just delete this bit. But let's keep the level part. See guys, now we have fixed it. Let's drag that one right over here. Okay, so that one should be back over here. So now if we go over here, actually no, because, okay, we have some code to fix. Okay, so if we go over here, if we go to level one if we name this one level one now if we just when the green flag is pressed and we want it to hide and hide and now if we go back to motion that we want it to do um so when it press on this then it will hide but it will not show up on this part and still control player so what i want to do is that looks events is that um when switch to backdrop to level one and we want it to looks and I want it to show but let's duplicate this and then if we do that and now if we just do that is it a sad face then we want it to hide so um, yeah yeah um, if we press on this then if we press on play and then if we touch a black then we should lose um, I should have walked but I prefer doing it this way anyway you guys can use it as a backdrop but I prefer doing this so I taught you guys how to copy and paste it basically what is happening is that we are over the, uh, the sprite and this isn't what you want so what we're going to have to do is go to front layer for this um, we want this one to go to the back layer and now if we go back to the green flag if we go over here put this over here then if we press on play button then maybe it will work now no, because the player will need to go to the back layer. So if we just copy, duplicate this, and now if we just put this into the player, then that should work for player. Now if we, I'm going to go back there. Now if we just get rid of that, no, I'm going to get rid of that. Now if we go back to player, it didn't do it, did it? If it did it, then, oh no, it's not shown anymore. This is strange. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is duplicate this, and now we want it to, um, if you press on level 1, then it should hard show. Okay, so now if we do that, play, and now it should show up. Okay, so we want it to go to the, go to front layer. Yes, we want to do that. If we go, if we put this into here, okay, we want it to go to the front layer. But that doesn't do anything yet. Okay, so if a player touches black then we want it to switch backdrop to sad face um, maybe if I do we do this actually no no it will be completely different if we just do like a sprite instead so if we go to the events um, it would be under the censoring so it would be over here if touching sprite if touching mouse pointer we want it to be if touching level one then we want it to switch backdrop to one so if we do that then it should switch but it doesn't do that for some reason i don't know why oh wait wait if i go to the events if i now add forever loop then maybe that should work So if it for so if it's um 
Oh yeah, it works now. Um, if we go back, so this it does work. Um, but it's not. Yeah, as you can see, um, this is what happens. So if we touch a black, then it will. Um, so such if we do that, then I'll say we lost sad face. Okay, now if we go back to play, then we can do this. So now we have fixed this issue, and now if we touch a black, then it will say we'll lose. But if we finish this game, such so as if we do this, and now if we do that, if we go all the way up, then if we go this way, now if we go all the way down, and then if we all go all the way even more down, then if we go and touch this red, then nothing happens. And that is because we haven't programmed it to do anything. So we, I think we just touch a black there. So if we just do this again, we shouldn't do anything. Oh wait, I know why. But if we do instead color, that should be better. If we do color instead, uh, because um, because um, basically we do have red there, and we don't want that to happen. So if touching color, if we do that when it's black, so what that should do. Is that when we touch a black then it should just sharp or lose face we lost sad face and now if we press on play again then now it should be working so just make sure that we do not touch a black or we're gonna lose the game okay so just do that if we just be very careful here because this is um, very very hard to do okay now if we just go off way down then if we touch red then it should not sharp or lose because it will be based on the colour so if we just go a little bit more down and now if we go there, nothing happens and that is because we haven't created the um, the level 2 part yet so to create the level 2 what we're going to have to do is create a new backdrop and now to do that, click over here and now go to paint and now we can create level 2 and this video is quite doing, getting quite long so what we're going to do is only create two levels and now once you finish level 2 then um, it's going to say we'll win the game and then we can add as much levels as we want but I just want to show you guys um, this how cool this is so if we go to level 2 so basically what happens is that if a character touches a red then it will switch to the um, to the other level so if we basically just, just do like um, new text if we now just do level 2 level oh no we need to make it I just copy this text, shall we? Be a lot more easier. But we're gonna have to do um if we just do select, now we can just control C and now if we do control D. And now what that should do is that that should level two. Okay, so we're gonna create a new maze now. So we do want it to be the same sort of maze. So if we just um create a new we basically just a paint a new sprite okay so now we're going to create some maze here so now to make a maze do we all need to just do that but we need to do um, a color picker so we're going to have to go here and now we're going to have to go right over here if we, if we did it I would like it to do that change to black let me just do that here hmm oh wait I think it's um Hold on, I think it will just do that. Okay, so now if we just do that, now if we do that, now this, what this should do is that this should happen like that, and now we should do that, and now we should do, no, so that'll be two levels. Um, if we just do that, okay, so um, if we just do that now, now if we do that, no, okay, now we did that part, now if we just do that and then if we just okay so this will be like that and now if we just do one more part of this like this and now if we just do this so both of the part about scratch is that we've got lots of um, problem solving to do and we did some program some problem solving didn't we guys so this is important part of IT is doing some problem solving and this is quite important to um, to game development Okay, so now if we do that, and now if we just do that, 
um, just do that. We're gonna make this one around that big. Just make sure that it's um, at least um, playable. I know as users will not like it and they think it's gonna be impos impossible. <laughs> okay, so now if we just do that. Okay, now just do that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that now we're gonna drag that off the way down and now what we can do is add the end. So um, the end is nil. Okay, so now we're gonna create a gray box. And that gray box will take you to the um, to the game over. So go um, to the gray area. So what I would normally do is just select gray. Okay, cool. So then add will take you to the main page. Okay, so now if I press on that, we're gonna see this. It's because we need it to hide. So events. When green flag is pressed, but then we want it to look and then we want it to hide. If we go all the way down, if we go to hide, then we can do that. Now if we just drag that one a little bit more downwards, so over here would be reasonable. Okay, um yeah, it should not be shown anymore. If we go to play, then that should happen. Okay. So now it will be hidden. And now if we go to events, and then if we go to when um, backdrop switches to level two, then we want it to be shown. But the only way we can make it show is that we have to um, tell the player is that if he touches to, damn it, no, I want it to duplicate. Now, the cat has comments if I wanted to, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, now we can do that. And now if we select this red, then what should happen is that um, it should take you to the next level if we change this one to level 2 okay now go over here and now if I press on player and now let's play this level shall we <coughs> let's do that okay we're doing pretty good let's carry on doing it Oh, see guys, now we are here. Um, we don't see our player. We see we lost sad face. Um, this is strange. Oh wait, because I think I know why. Hold on, let me go back to level one. And now if we go back to costumes, if we click over here. Hold on, there should be select tool, shouldn't it? All right, now we don't want any outline. So we have to get rid of that. We want no outline. Like this, and now if we press on the green flag, and now if we press on to far, uh, play, and now what should happen is that it should just take us to level two. So if we just go all the way up, let's carry on going, and then now if we hit for red, then what should happen is that it should take us to the next level. As you guys can see, we're on the next level. Um, we lost sad face, but that shouldn't happen like that. Hold on. That one has no outline now. Maybe we can change that one to like reddish. Like the same color as uh, actual. Now wait. Oh no, I think I'm... Okay, hold on. So when we touch the red, then what should happen is that we do not... Hold on. Let's go back to player, shall we? Actually, we need to go back to backdrops and now we're going to have to do... Um, I think I might... No, it shouldn't do that at all. Hmm. If we press on play, play, and then if we touch a red, then because we got rid of the outline, didn't we? So maybe I did accidentally touch a black. So I'm going to be try to be more careful. Okay, let's be more careful, shall we? Because there's no black, I don't think on that. Um. Okay, yeah, it does do that but it switched to the next level so what we may have to do is um, if we go back to costumes yeah the outline should be red I think it's because of a bug or something but if we just make that one a lot more bigger then that should just work okay if it doesn't then there, there is that means there's something okay so now if we just do this and now what should happen is that should they go to the next level just go all the way down Oh, okay, so that means there must be a black outline then here. 
just delete them and then if we create a new one okay so there should not be any black around it at all though so um yeah we don't want to have any art lines let's do it now hopefully this works if it doesn't then um okay yeah that makes loads of sense <laughs> then we're gonna have to delete some code because i think for player has some um, um some useless code in it okay so if we go there now if we touch a red then what should happen is that um yeah okay let me go back to player and now if we go back to code then um so when touching red then we want to switch level one we don't really have any code here that could be doing that so if you go back to level one then when background switches to sad face then hide if we now duplicate this and that when it switches to level two then we want it to hide so now maybe that will fix it I don't think that oh wait does our player have a black outline if that is true then maybe um, if we go back over here no it doesn't have any outline it shouldn't oh, let me select it yeah it does have a black outline so if we maybe change this one to maybe no outline then maybe it should work all right so now play but if we still touch the oh wait what no, just try again saving our project it's a bit laggy because it's saving it okay um let's do this okay now it should work yeah it should be fine if we just do that yeah if we just do that face is a bug in scratch though but I think it should work for all guys anyway if we just go off the way down because we don't have a back outline anymore then it should take us here but I don't know why it do does that okay and I figure to play it hides so I think it's because um, because when you touch a red, then it shouldn't do anything, it should just take us to the next level, but it doesn't, damn it, why doesn't it do that, I thought it would do that. Um, so when you touch a red, then we want it to switch to another level, but it doesn't do that. So, oh, I think I know why, maybe if we just do that. Now, when, select uh, um, another code, hmm, if we just go over here. So if touching black then it should switch to sad face but if touch it red maybe that will work now well, I stopped glitching now but I think that it meant to have like something like repeat one hmm. if we just put down forever because we do need forever loop so if it's f always I'm touching black then we want it to start Okay, now if we just go over here, then it says we lose. But what should happen is that when we touch a red, it should take it to the next level. So if we just select this, if we maybe we do this, and if we just select this, or we can do um, what's is there any black around there? Um, if we just select this, maybe. Now if we just play a game, okay, wait, what? What just happened? We'll lose sad face shouldn't do that at all though <coughs> switch to my menu and wait no we don't want that to do that we want it to just switch to backdrop 
Hold on, just switch back to up to name then. I don't want that to do, to do that. Okay, to play. Okay. So now if we just do that. Again, what should happen is that when we click, when we touch the red part. just go back to cloud now for this one for level one then it will say something like sad face it should hide but for level two then it should just hide but for level one it should the front layer shut two yeah it should work why is it not working <laughs> damn it oh wait I think I might know why if we are back there, maybe because um, switch to backdrop is wrong. So switch backdrop to sad face. Um, if we go to the so if switch backdrop to sad face, but that one should work as it's supposed to because there's no black outline. Okay. Um, okay. So now if we just go halfway up. Then that what should happen is that if we touch a black, then we will die. Okay, so maybe I should just. Okay, so if that's on the sad face, then we want it to do. Um, it, so what we wanted to do is that um, if we go to the because what I think is happening is that. Um, hold on. Hello guys, I think I found a solution. So if I delete this, and now if I just create a new sprite, I think it's going to be a lot more easier like this. Because I didn't want to spend too much on this project. And now if we just do that, um, hold on, I want to go back to the first level though. Okay, if we just do that, then if we do that, and now if we go back to player, so that way if he touches the level one, then he should, then he should, um, Hold on. If he if he touches the um, hmm. if he touches the the level one, then what should happen is that he should go back in. But if we change this one to maybe if we do touching sprite, it would be sprite, won't it? Because it's just red. So it would be um, what would it be? Hold on. It's not letting me scroll down. I oh, sprite two. Right, if we do sprite 2 then if we just refresh it but we want it to hide don't we and you wanna okay so on motion go to advance then if we get best on for green flag then it will hide if we go to advance and now if we go to hide scroll all the way down hold on just go to looks and now if we go to hide then this should hide okay but if we now want to do um if we go over here and now when it switches to backdrop to backdrop to the um level one um so that means that if it switches to level one then we want it to ha show but we want it to be aware it is don't we so if you go here but in case somebody moves it or something we want it to go back there and now if we duplicate this then if we do um sad face then we want it to hide and then we can just copy and paste it for any, any other one so now we want it to hide though so if we go back to looks and uh, now if we go to hide then this should hide it okay now if we press on play now if we go all the way up hope that you guys did find the solution at the very end okay so if we touch a black then you say it would say game pattern. okay so we did touch it. Now if we just try to do this again, but this time we just try to do better. Okay, if we now just do that. Oh god, now we have to go all the way down, don't we? Because otherwise we touch our black. Okay, just go all the way up. Now 
have to just do that. Now what should happen is that it should take us to our next level. Yeah, like that, and run to level two. So that is how we can solve it. But what I'm gonna do is that duplicate this and that when it's on the um hmm, when it's on the backdrop one. Actually it would be level two, wouldn't it? Want it to hide. So let's try this again. Okay, so when you touch a black, then I don't know why it doesn't show for main menu though first. Yeah, it does show main menu, okay good. <laughs> I thought it didn't. Okay, so now if we just do that. But so yeah, we've basically just fixed it. Okay, now if we just go all the way down, then it should take us to level two, and that red part should be gone now. Okay, so now if we did that, didn't we? Um, so what we want to do is now drag this ball so that way if it's on the okay so um, we want it to just clean up for code so to clean up for code clean up blocks okay so now we have done that now if we just do we don't have long left to finish this project anyway so now we did this so that if we get onto the offense and now when it switches to backdrop to the let's do level two then we would want it to show obviously and now we want it to go to um, let's click on to the hmm we want it to go to go to here so now I'll just drag that one up here and now if we press on for play button now if I press on play then it should just happen like this and now if I play this then it should just do that okay so now if we do this, then if we just carry on going down, then that should happen. And now we can go and play this game as says usual. But when you play this game, then nothing happens. It's because you haven't programmed it, so that way it touches, if it touches this, um, this sprite, it doesn't do anything. So if we just do that, then it does nothing. Uh, but if we do, but, but what should happen is that if a vessel is black, then obviously it will just show up with loose um, page. But if it's um, touching the grey, then it should show up with win. So let's first of all do the when it for. Okay. What I want to do right now is just crawl all the way up if that is possible. Oh, that should do that in a minute. Yeah, like that. And now if we go right to here, if we just go to costume costume and now if we just copy this hold on control C and now if we just create a new sprite by just putting it into here now control B now I should just show up over here right now but but if we just delete this if we just basically um, delete this like this then if we go back to this then we want it to be where is it on here? Let me see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's drag this all the way down here, showing. Okay, so now if you go back to code, then we want it to that way if it shows up, um, then the green flag is pressed, then we want to go to motion and hide. Uh, let's click on to hide. Where is hide? Off the way down. Um, if we go back to events, then what should happen is that we should find the hide button. Um, let's go back to lux, and now that should be hide. So now, if it uh, so if it goes to the green flag, then it will hide um, when we click onto the green flag. But what should happen is that now, if we press onto this, so if when background switches to sad face, we want it to hide as well. So lux, and now hide. And now we did that. So now we have done this. So now if we go all the way back to the player one, and now if we do uh, motion, offense, and now if we do, um, so if 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 we do that, actually let's just duplicate and duplicate for code that we already had. Just change it a bit so it should be down here. Um, on a real player, right? 
so if touching spike 2 then it should take us to a new level but if we're touching the what is it the sprite sprite 2 isn't it level 1 let the sprite 1 so if we change this one to sprite 1 and then we want it to um, do a sad face but if we want it to go to sprite 3 duplicate this then he would want it to switch to another one but we don't have it yet and so if we just change that one to sprite 3 then that should happen so now let's test out the game shall we alright so if we touch a black on for level 2 then what should happen is that hopefully I don't fail this one so that we can do it a lot more faster this has to be like an hour long video how long would that take to upload to YouTube I wonder so if we do that ok now if we touch a black then that should happen we'll lose but we need to hide it when we want it to, when it shows up to there so the scroll for way down up and now if we go to sprite over here and then now if we go click on to the events duplicate this and that so if it goes to the sad face then what should happen is that one should hide looks and then hide hidey hide and that should hide it okay so we basically did that now what we want to do is that um, let's test this shall we we're almost done we only got like 50 minutes to do it okay so we've got this to do so that way um now what should happen is that if we scroll go all the way down then that should happen and now if we just do that then sharp will lose sad face um okay so um we want it to do so that way if um if the player touches a grey then it will shop or one screen so if we go back to backdrops okay if we now do that backdrops and now if we do backdrop one because this one is not really being used okay now if we just put down here um, you'll have won the game and now if we just make that one purple that one as purple as we can like this and now if we just do this make it a lot more bigger then what should happen is that um, it should do it okay but it will be hidden when we press onto it okay so when code is pressed, then we want it to do is that um, hmm, the menu play. I don't see it yet because we haven't yet um, did anything to it yet. So if we go to player and then if he touches a grey motion, uh, if he touches the gay grey looks. If we just go to the touching spike free, it would be yeah, and then we want it to uh, basically motion and now if we do this as a um if we go to looks and now if we just do so if um forever if touching sprite free then what should happen is that it should have a new sprite um a new background i mean if i can figure out where it is I haven't used Scratch in a very, very long time, but it's quite simple to use. It just takes a lot of time sometimes. Okay, so switch backdrop to backdrop. Um, let's do backdrop one. Yeah, it should be backdrop one. Um, is it backdrop one? It should be. Let me just check this out. Yeah, backdrop one. So it will say pull one. Okay, so if we now do this, I know what's going to happen. But let's just do that ok now if we go all the way up and now if we just do that I will lose that is working correctly so I accidentally did that though I didn't do it on purpose ok so now let's just try to do this way ok let's play this game So now if we go off way down, then that should happen. And now if we just try to do this maze, then we should have one. Hmm. It's 
gonna be a lot more harder. It's a full. Yeah. Okay. I I don't. I actually thought it's gonna be harder. Okay. So ex exactly. If we just do that. Just do that. And I'll just go way down one one more. And now we have to test that for great part. But I've got a plan for that. I know it's a bit cheating, but wait, why is the grey not showing? That's my question. Hmm. Hold on. If I go back here, it should have been shown. So now, if we want it to do, um, if we just probably just duplicate this, and now if it goes to the backdrop one, into level two actually, then that should show. Oh, it looks, and now I want to show. Okay, so now what should happen is that if we press on the green flag, then it should show. If we just go this way, if we just go all the way down, then this should happen. Yep, now we can see it. If we just do this. Make sure that we do not touch any of the black or we're going to lose the game. Will this work? Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, just make for the play a little bit more slower. Oh, 105, want it to be 100 folio. Okay, so if we now go back to a player, if we just make him a lot more slower, shall we? So. Yeah, 10 should be fine. I don't see a problem with that. Okay. We just have to... Because we did this earlier, didn't we? I would rather just drag him. To make this game faster. Okay, if we now just basically just... Drag it right over here. Then if we just... No, oh, okay, yeah. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, now if we just do drag this one over here, because I know this is working. Now if we drag this one right to here, so as you guys can see, this needs to be, this whole thing needs to be hidden. Okay, then we should have done with that. So now if we go to level, level this one, and now we want that one to hide when we are to the, so go to the, when, um, when the sprite switches to, Back to one, then we want it to hide. Looks, and then we want it to hide, don't we? And then we want to do the same for the grey area. So now if we just drag this one off the way down, so that one should work for that one. And now let's do the same for this one, for the player. Okay. I think the player has got it right. Yeah, it should hide. So now if we press on the green flag, then if we just do that. If we just drag this one right over here, now if I drag this one right over here, then it should no longer be seen. See, well, for one for game. So we have done this, and now we've got one more thing to do. So this button does nothing because I haven't programmed it yet. So to do that, we're going to have to go to backdrops for a new one. And now we can call that one how to, how to play. Am I still recording? I should be. Oh my god, I was recording for like an hour now. Okay. So now if we just do how to play, we're just going to make this simple. Okay, so how to play. Now we can just maybe just add another text. Use the hour keys. the green flag and press play to start <coughs> okay so now if we just drag this over here now we want it to so that way if it's then switch the backdrop on but we want it to hide don't we at first so let's just do hide um, if we go all the way down, um, if we go to looks, and then we want it to hide. Hmm, where's hide? I always get this wrong. I always, um, 
Oh, okay, looks. No, we don't want this to hide, don't we? What do you mean? Actually, now we want it to switch backdrop to main menu. We want that one to be like that. Now, if we go back to the button, yeah, it should be like that. Now, if we go to play, how to play button, and then if we go to look motion, actually, let's go to events, and then when um when this part is clicked, then we want it to just do um switch backdrop to how to play and now if I press on this and now if I click on how to play then I'll show up this but it isn't hiding for buttons and that is because we have a pro around it so what we're going to have to do is that we will have to go over here and now um, we will have to hide for buttons so um, when spot is clicked and we want it to hide don't we? <coughs> hide now if we go to play button then we can just leave it here. So if you go to how to play, then here is instructions and then if I press on the play button then it should work. So we've got how to play, um, we also got this, and we also when I press on the play button then it should do that. And now we can play. So guys, um, this is how to make a maze game in Scratch. We did run into some issues, but as I told you guys, um, how to problem solve. I told you guys how to um, program with Scratch. And this is basically a basic game that you guys can play. Um, I didn't um, activate my email, so you guys probably won't be able to play this. But um, it's more of a, um, it's more of, more of a tutorial tool. So if we go off the way down, then we can go this way, and then it will should die. See? Okay, guys. So this is how to make a nice game in Scratch. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and hope that you guys have followed it correctly. <laughs> and tried the best and solved the own issues of it. Um, I will do more Scratch um, videos in the future. Maybe I might, I might make a racing game, a, a basic racing game, um, where we've got to use our keys to start racing with um, with a friend, with two cars, and we've got to try to beat each other, I guess, with our WASD keys and with um, our keys. We could do that um, in our next episode, or we could even create an animation so yeah, guys, I uh, will be back online tomorrow, and um, I will be teaching you guys um, how to make a basic racing game, maybe, with a, with a friend on the same PC, <laughs> on the same keyboard. So yeah, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys find it very, very useful. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, maybe in the future. And yeah, m next time I will go live stream. Um, I will go live stream. Anyone can join it, and you can ask me questions here. I know I do know that I've got a few subscribers. So hey, to those subscribers, I may go live um, one day. So I well, I could teach you how to use Scratch, and if you guys can help me with it, whenever I run into issues, some of you guys can teach me as well. <laughs> so guys, um, I'm gonna do these live streams maybe more than once a week, just to help people with programming, especially with newcomers. Um, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys in the future. Bye bye.